So one of the things that was most evident when we first met Melanie was the difference in the strength of her upper back, the development of this part of her shoulders, the weakness of her neck, and the disconnect between her shoulders and the middle of her back. Her low back was extremely hypermobile. Her neck was extremely hypermobile, and this part of her spine did not move at all. But if you think about her shoulder, the shoulder muscles don't really stop here. The shoulder muscles, the lat muscle in particular, goes all the way down to here. So we have to address the whole back. And if you look at her from the side and look at the position between the front and the back, her shoulders were extremely forward. And we had to get them balanced in the center of her body. So we did a lot with spiraling her arms that you'll see momentarily in that position then translates all the way up here into her diving position so that her diving position isn't so much here but is an elongation connected with her spine here. Okay. Lifting up right here. That's it. Moving from your back. Right. And this movement really shows that wave of movement from the floor up through the pelvis, up through the spine out to the arms. So this piece of equipment, the gyrotoner, allows for the most diverse shoulder activity of any machine I've ever seen in my life. So what you saw before on the handle machine of Arch and Coral can then be taken into virtually any different plane of motion. So this piece here can be moved down forward, it can be moved up, she can be below it, it can be over her head. And we worked on it in particular after her surgery because of there were lots of areas that had adhesions and I had to find ways to get through the adhesions to free up her movement. And the most stubborn adhesion of all we were able to get through in this movement here. So go ahead, Mel, show it. That's right. So it was the first movement we could find that could break up the final level of adhesions. Now she's having to make length in her teres muscle behind her shoulder. Right. So I want her to learn to not use her shoulders and rather use the strength through the center of her body. So she's going to do the same thing, exhale, power from here, and connecting the shoulders to uh, the st her strong back muscles. So up in here is pretty relaxed, really. So start up, exhale, up, and now bring it, the wingmaster forward. That's right, inhale, take your head down as it goes behind you now. Take it even further back behind, but still start from the ribs on the way up. That's it, good, good, good. They do a hanging thing like this in diving training, and she did it like this for years and years and years and years and years. Yeah. And with nobody saying, and then she would use only her quads to pull up, right? Which makes her legs really, really heavy. Yeah? So what we want her to do is to actually release down, start from the breath, and leave the legs behind. So this part, the strongest part of the body, contracts, and then the legs follow, right? And the legs suddenly feel really light. Like we were working on the articulation of the spine and arch and curl, so now we're going to take it into a different plane of motion. So she's going to use her legs now, the power of her legs, to now roll through and articulate through each vertebra of the spine coming up. And then I want her to find the exact position where she would enter the water with her head a part of that and know exactly where that is and then come back out of it. Yeah. So we're using gravity to help inform and strengthen our body.